Pat Buchanan is going to hop on a short bus to Kooky Town and forget what century he's in, because in a piece in World Net Daily about gay marriage, he ends up slamming desegregation. St stunning even to hear myself say it. He says, quote, in 1954, the Supreme Court ordered the desegregation of all public schools, but when the court began to dictate the racial balance of public schools and order the forced busing of children based on race across cities and country lines to bring it about, a rebellion arose. Only when resistance became national and a violent reaction began did our black-robed radicals back down. Yet the Supreme Court was not deterred in its resolve to remake America. In 1973, the court discovered the right to an abortion in the Ninth Amendment. Then it found the right to engage in homosexual sodomy. When Congress enacted the Defense of Marriage Act, a Republican uh, urged them to write in a provision stripping the Supreme Court of any right to review the act. Congress declined, and the court, predictably, dumped all over DOMA. Indeed, with neoconservatives in the van, the GOP hierarchy is in headlong retreat on same-sex marriage. Its performance calls to mind the insight of that unreconstructed Confederate chaplain to Stonewall Jackson, Robert Louis Dabney, on the failure of conservatives to halt the march of the egalitarians. Now, this is a quote, this is a guy that he's quoting who says, American conservatism is merely the shadow that follows radicalism as it moves forward toward perdition. It remains behind it, but never retards it, and always advances near its leader. Its impotency is, is not hard, indeed, to explain. It is worthless because it is the conservatism of expediency only, and not of sturdy principle. It intends to risk nothing serious for the sake of truth, and has no idea of being guilty of the folly of martyrdom. Okay, so let me explain what just happened here. He just adoringly quoted a pro-slavery confederate. And the guy's like, oh, the problem with these conservatives is that they're too weak and they always go along with the Democrats. What? No, 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 that's the case with the Democrats. They unfortunately go along way too much with the Republicans. Talking about conservatives are too liberal. That's what that quote means, conservatives are too liberal. Listen to this clown. And then, yes, you heard me correctly. He was talking about the days of desegregation in a negative way. See, what happened is the court realized soon after siding with desegregation that they couldn't just force it overnight because the crazy white people in the South were so incredibly racist that they would have fucking taken up arms and started killing people. So you know what they did? They decided, hey, let's we're going to do it gradually over time so as not to cause these people to have a rebellion. And that's what that's what Pat Buchanan is talking about here. But he's talking about it as if like, ah, yeah, those activist judges who decided to desegregate. Why'd you decide to desegregate? Fuck that. Rebel against it. He's on the side of the rebellers. And he's calling them, based on desegregation, he's calling the Supreme Court, what was it, black-robed somethings, black-robed thugs or whatever? I mean, what a child, what a child. How do you argue against desegregation? The year is 2014, slapstick. And then, uh, of course, he had to throw in jabs about abortion, because naturally, that's what he does. But then also, he's like, ah, the Supreme Court found a right to sodomy in the Constitution. You're against people doing sexual acts and consenting behind closed doors? What fucking business is it of yours? And by the way, sodomy, a lot of people think, oh, that only means gay sex or only means anal sex. Wrong. It's oral sex or anal sex. Either one, and it's for gay people and straight people. So he's like, ah, oh, why'd they find a way to finally legalize blowjobs, those assholes? Wasn't America better when nobody was getting their dick sucked? Who's with me? Fucking crickets, Pat. Fucking crickets. What a clown. What a fool. I don't know who can quote, without it being some sort of a parody, I don't know who can quote a pro-slavery Confederate leader. Who does that? Who does that? And then who argues against uh, sodomy, oral sex, anal sex? And who argues against desegregation? I mean, if there was any issue in American history that is so not debatable at this point, and it's so clear we were wrong in the past and we're right now, it's that. But Pat Buchanan can't help himself.